Hey YouTube, Sandy Frank here today. This is going to be part part three, I think, of this um, 175 card PSA order. This was a bulk uh, value bulk submission. I was able to get in. It was one of the last ones I could get at ten dollars a card. I have one other very large order at PSA that I was able to do ten dollars a card. But we haven't, they're still grading those, so. Um, this will have to be our last big PSA order of the, those back in the good old days when you can grade everything for $10 or less. Wow. Massive damage right there. Or not damage, just a big old. This has got to be a promo. <laughs> like, they had some trouble getting out of the 10. I don't know why we graded this. Definitely some wear, some white spots in those corners. And that's darn near a crease right there. Man, why would I send this in? I Also, when, when cards are $10 a grade, you don't look at them as close. I'm also discovering. So this was, yeah, you can see that, that right there on that promo also on this side. So that was a terrible job by me, unless PSA did that. But it is... Just a Pikachu promo. I'm guessing that knocks it down to like a five. Yeah, man. I'm guessing this guy's grades pretty pretty consistently this time. Yeah, can't argue with that. This one looks really clean. There is a tiny little white dot there, but to me that's PSA 10 caliber back of the card. Power Keepers Pikachu. Eh, maybe ever so slightly thick over there. So this, this could get a 9 because of centering. Whoa, PSA 10 on the Power Keepers. Now, I do have a reverse hollow of this card that I want to send in. But I'm waiting for it to get cheaper. The reverse hollow looks amazing. But that's awesome. Got a, a non hollow PSA 10 on that. This card, there's some whitening there on that corner. White dot there. Really thin on this side, thick over there. Ah, I love this Pikachu. This is one of my favorite promos. Um, just the way the hollow is, it looks like in the way he's kind of like covering his face a little bit. It looks like he's in a hailstorm or a rainstorm. Just cool. Love that, that hollow. Man, I'd love to have this in a 10, but the centering is off. So please can we get this in a 9? Yeah, there we go. Whew. Happy about that one. Really cool art on that. This card. This is definitely cockeyed. So when I see cockeyed cards like that, like the it's been torqued this way. Um a skew. I always think this is an evolutions card. Nope, it's Rebel Clash. Now Rebel Clash doesn't usually do that. Usually very top-notch quality. Another thing I noticed is they don't grade, they don't take off grading that much for a skew like you would think. I, I definitely think this is more of a nine. Now I got the ten. That's weird that they kind of like just don't really count off for things being skewed. Now, to me, that's like a, like, I don't understand why that doesn't get counted off by PSA, but it doesn't. This one, everything looks great. Maybe slightly thinner on that side. A Lapras V from Sword and Shield. Man, I love the, the full art um, cards from the Sword and Shield era. They just look really nice. 
They're usually top-notch quality. That looks like a 10. It looks more like a 10 than that last card. And it got a 9. Man, it's hard telling. The, well, I guess it is a little bit thinner over there, but that's pretty, pretty touchy there. Come on. Mm, that one, a little bit thicker on top. Edges and everything look perfect. The Galarian Sir Farfetch'd with his leaks there. That looks like an easy 10 also. Oh, there, that one got a 10. That's from Vivid Voltage. So we'll keep that one for sure in our full art collection. I mean, I'm going to keep all of them, but you really want to keep the PSA 10s, I think. And then you want to try upgrade, especially on ultra modern cards. PSA 9s aren't going to hold up very good. That looks perfect on the back. Indeedy V. That looks perfect. That looks like the most, um, the easiest 10 out of these full art cards we've looked at here. I think easy 10 from Sword and Shield. Yep, PSA 10, Jim Mint. Very cool. The 10 is making a little comeback as we're getting some, some Sword and Shield era stuff. This card, all the edges and everything look perfect. Just a little bit thinner on that side. There's like a printing line on the back of the card. Now, I don't know if that's on my case or on the card. I think it's on the card though. Galarian Cursola, Champion's Path. I mean, we'll find out if it's on the card here. If they give us a 10, it's probably just on the case because it looks perfect on the front. Yeah, PSA 10. So that line, that must be on my case. This is, just looks like a printing line. Kind of weird, but we'll take a 10. And this card, all the edges look perfect. Definitely thicker on top though. Cinderace V, another Rebel Clash card. Oh, that one's so cool. Definitely, you can tell it's thicker on top. But, I have definitely gotten PSA 10s on cards that didn't look perfectly centered, so I could get a 10 here. And I got the 9. It's a little bit out of tolerance on the centering. It actually looks good though, because I think your eye, it bugs your eye more if the centering is off right to left than up and down. That card looks perfect. Oh, no, there's a little white dot on that corner. Besides that, really good. Oh, Clefairy, Evolution. Oh, man, I see a freaking printing. Oh, there's, there's several printing lines. So I was thinking, ooh, I might have the first ever PSA 10 Clefairy. No, there's no way. And it's probably eight, because I see three four printing lines on that hollow got an eight yeah can't really uh, argue that even though it's well centered it's not perfectly centered and it has printing lines so. evolutions man that set has been i'm i'm a bad perpetrator of this also but man it's stunning how many Evolutions cards have been graded. I mean, it's staggering. Like, they're closing in on 200,000 cards graded of just that set. There's a white dot down in that corner. And there's some sets that haven't even had 1,000 cards print or graded yet. That's how wacky things get with grading with these newer sets. I mean, it looked, everything looks great except for that corner. Ah, May Champ. Let's see if we see printing lines. It's easy. To, see, this is where I need to look at my cards under this light because I can see the printing lines a lot better under this light. There's definitely one there and maybe one on the top. So I think the best I can get is a nine. The centering looks dead on though. An 
eight. I think that's a little stingy, but the max it could have got was a ten or a, a, a nine. Yeah, if you see printing lines on modern card hollow, just know the max your card will ever get is a nine because they'll see them. They'll see the printing lines. They look for those. The back of this card is perfect. Ah, Chansey. And I see a big printing line right across Chansey. But I think I knew it was going to get a, a nine because uh, I just wanted a set of the uh, hollows graded. This is probably my nicest one. Centering looks pretty good, but I'm guessing nine, that's the best they could get. Hey, it did get a nine. I don't even think there's ever been a 10 of the Clee Fairy or Chansey. That's how, that's how tough it is to get those cards without printing lines. They just one in a million. Um, white dot there. It's definitely thicker on bottom. Ooh, Nido King. Now, I, oh, there is the printing line. They are hard to spot. But if you hold the light just right, you'll see it. Right there across the eye of Nido King. No, across his horn. So the max grade that could get is a nine. They got the eight. They decided it just wasn't quite nine level. How was that? I must have been very lucky when I've graded my Charizard hollows because all but one of mine got nines. One eight and the rest nines. And besides one that was just bad condition anyway. So I actually did very well on my Charizards. Very lucky. Just seeing how tough it is to get even nines. There's some whitening on that edge. Definitely older card. Gold Duck from Fossil. First edition. Centering looks on point. I think it I think it could get a nine. Yeah, there we go. PSA nine. On the Gold Duck first edition. And it was not pack fresh. There's a little white dot, a couple of them there, one there. But besides that, pretty crisp. Mr. Mime from Jungle. Uh, centering looks pretty good. This if that one got a nine, this can get a nine. An eight. Hmm, missed something there. Well, maybe that, there is a little bit of an edge situation up there. Sometimes that's the weak spot in my game is looking for edge problems on the edges of the cards. I usually look at the corners and the, the front and the hollows and stuff. This card looks about as good as it can get. Maybe slightly thick on top. Ooh, Delmise, the anchor Pokemon. I usually don't like Pokemons that are not, that are based off of like inanimate objects. Not my thing. That looks like a PSA 10 though, from Sword and Shield. Yeah, Gym Mint 10. Nice, I love those full arts. This card. Two tiny little white dots there, but besides that, it looks really good. Ooh, Pikachu. I love this promo, but I see huh, there's scratches all over that thing and print lines. Man, that stinks. Oh, this, I don't know how that happened. Um, I might have got bought this from like a a shop or something like that probably one I didn't pull yeah I'm guessing it probably got a seven because of the scratches six dang it I definitely want to get a nicer one of that because that is a really cool uh, promo actually is it that one no it's not that one I'm 
I remember seeing that blister for like 20 bucks at the local gaming store, but it was not that one. It was a different Pikachu promo blister. There's a white dot there that's pretty obvious. One there, a, a small one there. So the, besides that, it looks pretty good. Ah, Raichu from Evolutions. And there is the dread print line right across there. You just have to hold it at the exact right angle to see it. It's a light one, but it's there. I think that's a PSA 9, though. Not 8. Man, they, they might be getting tougher on these as well. On oh, Evolution Hollows. Probably just getting sick of grading them. Um, there's a white dot there. I think it's thicker on that side. Dreadnought. Champion's Path. Full Art. I think it could get a 10, but it does have a couple white dots on the back. All right, Jim Mint 10 got through because of its nice uh, front side with the center and stuff. Okay, this one definitely thinner on top, thick on the bottom. Maybe a tiny little white dot in that corner. Ah, Polyrath. That's weird how thi the how off center was on the back, but the front looks pretty dead on. Let's see if we this is evolutions by the way. Let's see if we see any printing lines on this hollow. No. Oh, there's one. Man, that one's really tough to see. There it is. I think this is more of a nine. Since it's just such a slight um, printing line. Oh, yeah, there we go. PSA 9 on the Polyrath. That's actually a really cool looking card. I know people hate Polyrath, though. Alright, get into the next box. Okay, this card, maybe just a little thick on top, that's about it. Ah, oh, the Celebi and Venusaur Alt Art Promo GX Tag Team. If they were being really picky, they could say it's a little bit thicker on top. It'll be a weak 10 or a strong 9. All right, got the 10. All right, had met enough parameters to sneak out the 10. All right, that's good. Now this card, edges and corners perfect. It does look like it's slightly shifted this way. It's a little bit thin on this side. Ooh, so Galio and Lunala, alt art. Cosmic Eclipse. Man, that's such a cool looking card. Same thing with this one though. You could say that it is a little bit thin on top, thicker on the bottom. So I could I could see this getting a 9. So it's another one that's so kind of like a strong 9, weak 10. Oh, I got the 10 on that one too. Wow, that one's really nice to have as a 10. That's a beautiful card. Oh, this one has white, pretty big white dots and a little bit of another white whitening there and a little spot there. So this one's had a little bit of wear, a little bit thin on that side. Oh, it's Eevee. Eevee. It's definitely thicker on the bottom. This looks like maybe an eight. Oh, I got the nine. I always it seems like I always get eights on Radiant Collection, um, but we'll take a nine. This one definitely a few little white spots there, a couple there. So this is not going to get a ten. Shaman EX. Oh, the 
looks so good on the front. Now these could have printing lines on them too, but it's just hard to see them. Um, this could get a nine. Come on. Ah, we did get a nine. I will take that. That is pretty awesome to get a nine on that card. And this one, couple white dots there. Definitely a white, pretty significant white spot there. And a white dot there, thicker on top. So definitely not a 10. Ooh, Dialga. Now I see a printing line right there. This is a Diamond and Pearl promo. Um, I could, I could see this getting an eight. There is a little bit of a swirl down there too. Let's get an eight on this. Oh, five? Okay, I missed something. Oh, there it is. Pretty severe indention there. That's another one that looks like, how did I miss that? All right, everything else about that card looks so good. This card, edges and everything look great, but it's definitely thicker on top. Piplup. Yeah, you can see it is thicker up there. Um, I'm guessing it's probably a nine. <laughs> that got a gem mint 10. Wow. See, to me, that definitely looks off center. It is way off center on the back. That surprises me. That's a little gift 10 right there. But we'll take it. This has definitely been played and shuffled and loved. A lot of, a lot of major wear in the corners. You can see all that whitening. I don't see any creases though. Or binder dents. Ooh, Nido Queen base set too. Oh yeah, lots of scratches. From what I've been seeing uh, lately on my vintage hollow grades, this is at best a six. And I got five. Hmm. Hmm. Base set two Nido Queen. With a PSA 5, that's not going to be worth getting graded. Um, this one, definitely some wear down there. A little bit of spots on the edges that um, indicate play. Clee Fairy, base set 2. Um, it's a little bit thicker on this side. Oh, there's, there's scratches. I'm going to guess a 7. Yep, PSA 7. That's as good as that card would get with those scratches. This card, thicker on this side, but maybe a tiny little white dot. Yeah, a couple of corners have little white dots. Very small. Ooh, Burning Shadows. Gardevoir. GX. Full Art. So it definitely does not have the cutting error. That's the number one thing you look at with the burning shadows. But I would say this is probably a nine. Whoa, PSA. I finally get a PSA 10 on a burning shadows. I didn't even think it deserved one totally. It's a weak 10, but man, so many other, I wish I would've sent my other burning shadows cards in on this order. Because I can never get burning shadows to get PSA 10s. Even ones that didn't have the cutting air. But we'll take it. Definitely some wear in those bottom corners and right there. And thick. Both those sides are a little thick. Ooh, Palkia. Another Diamond and Pearl promo. These Diamond and Pearl promos are super tough to, uh, to grade. And super low pop. I see scratches, so I'm guessing this is a uh, seven at the best. A five on that one. Boy, they did not like these at all. Man, it's got that same mark. 
Man, this happened during shipment. It had to have. Or during encasement or something. Because that's three very similar marks on these cards. That is annoying. It just makes you freak out sending nice cards to PSA sometimes when that can happen. Just random. Thick on top compared to the bottom. I don't see any weird marks on the back. Oh, Pikachu Zekrom. Full art. So that looks like a 9. I, I think it's thicker on top than the bottom. Yeah, and it was thick on top than on the bottom on the, on the other side. So that looks like that looks like a nine. Oh, PSA ten. Wow, I can't believe that got a ten. Love that card though. Hmm. Some wacky grades going on now. We got some some wear on those bottom edges. And I mean wear, not really wear like white dots. Arceus, another Black Star promo. I don't see scratches on that hollow, so to me, this is like a nine, maybe a seven. I don't see a seven there. Actually, I'll do this one card, but we need to uh, stop. There's a big white spot up there and some other little white dots on the upper edge. One there. Thicker on this side. Uh, Arceus. Um, this is uh, one of those um, Platinum Arceus uh, rare cards. Uh, a subset of the Arceus. Different, um, like this is AR4. So with that, all that white, you know, it's like a probably a, an eight. Oh, it looks pretty good though. Really cool um, little subset within that that set. Whoa, that got a nine. Man, I don't get what's going on here. Are labels getting mixed up? That doesn't look like a nine. Okay, I'm not gonna argue it because they've kind of janked me on a couple other grades. So that gets in as a 9. Okay, we'll stop there. And um, thank you for watching. Stay tuned for the next part.